Hey guys, my name is Kyle Kenrick, and in this video, we're gonna check out what's inside this. So in this channel, we check out anything involved filmmaking. So let's get started. First off, which bag am I using? It's just a basic Manfrotto bag that I got around like a few, couple years back. It was around $50 at the time and it's held up till, the, till now. No one's stolen anything because it looks like a normal backpack. It doesn't have that many pockets, so like it's less accessible for me, but less accessible for thieves. So that's why I mainly got it. Which I don't think they sell this bag anymore. So if you guys are looking for something similar, I'm gonna have a couple of suggestions in the bottom. But this bag comes with this little tiny pouch that protects everything with like these shock absorby stuff. And that was probably really loud. So it comes in this neat little package where the camera's right here in the middle. That's usually, again, the camera that I'm recording in right now. So what lenses do I bring along the way for filming with the A6 style? I usually bring the lens that you're seeing again right now, which is the 18 to 105 f4 uh, Sony lens, which is a great uh, filming lens. It's really bad at low light if you're trying to do that sort of thing. But right now I want a good basic lens that is just good for what I need right now. And this allows me to do a lot of B-roll, allows me to do a lot of things where I have things where I have lighting under control. So the next lens I bring is the Rokinon 35mm f 2.8 lens. It came with the a7S II that I bought. Uh, it makes it so that whenever I put it into an APC body, it makes it into a 52-ish millimeter lens. And it does a great nifty 50. It has the bokeh I want and it, ha it has a shallow depth of field that I want for photos, for videos, if I'm doing that sort of type of b-roll. So if I'm ever using low light or anything involving low light, I usually use this lens and then this lens that you're seeing right now, I use for everything else basically. Now for audio, it's usually on in like just any compartment of my bag because this is a very durable, it's a very small mic. It's a Rodevid Micro. It's great for vlogging uh, when you attach it on the side. So when you take this thing off, it actually is this small. Uh, it's very, very compact. That was probably overexposed. That's right next to my light, but whatever. <laughs> now, I don't bring any lights with me because most of the time I, I don't really need them for wherever I go. And if, at night, I just don't want to take up too much space. And I don't have the Aperture M90, I believe that's what it's called. But I want to look into... <coughs> Ow. But I want to start looking into that. I'm not sure just yet. I kind of like natural lighting, practicals here and there. So we'll see how, where things go. But what I do bring is a bunch of filters, a bunch of ND filters, and they usually fit anywhere if you have a little packet or thing. I use the filters for the fact that like most of the time if I do have work, uh, I can't and I have to record something and I can't record during magic hours, I then use those ND filters. It allows me to film whenever I want. Up next is the things, these things. This thing, if I'm vlogging or if I just need a small little tripod just to keep it still and I want to film myself, it does the job honestly because it's a lot, it's not like a gorilla pod where it can grapple onto anything, but it's so tiny that I could go on almost any surface as a little ball head that works fine. And since the Sony bodies are smaller than DSLR cameras anyway, this is perfect. And if you want to keep a low profile, that's if that's your thing, go for this. Personally, I just like it because it's just lighter. It keeps me on the go, allows me to be able to film whenever I want. Up next is a Peak Design strap. This one isn't the Peak Design strap, but I'm actually going to be using this strap for the A6000. And then when I get the 6400, those are going to have the Peak Design straps as well as my A7S II. So the cheap strap goes to the cheap camera <laughs> because priorities. But it allows me to get stable footage whenever I want. It allows me to keep my camera near me if, I'm gonna, if I know I'm gonna be recording and I need to record soon and then detach it whenever I need to, if I do need to. Just makes things on the go. Basically, if you notice, a lot of my stuff is for on the go. 
guerrilla filmmaking where I'm able to film whenever and wherever I want. There's two more things. Batteries and power banks are important because batteries and power is important. If you ever go into a shoot and you don't have power, it sucks. I've done it in my first few times. It sucks dick a lot. <laughs> and then the last thing, probably the most important thing in my opinion is a notebook. Why? Because then I could keep every single idea for this channel and for every other short film I want to make all in this little tiny thing. I already have three of these filled up. This is going to be my th third one almost halfway done filled and honestly this thing has saved so much time for me in organizing that I will never leave without a notebook even while I'm at work even while I'm going anywhere where I don't think I can even write I just have it just in case so that's what's in my bag at the beginning of 2019 sorry it's a little bit late I know it's February but I had to deal with a couple things Oh, it might not even be February. I might be uploading this in March. Um, yeah. Well, and then I'm gonna do another one of these videos at like the middle of the year, around six months from now, just to keep it uh, fresh, just to see what I've done to upgrade my gear and show you guys where my gear is growing towards. But that uh, that wraps it up for what's inside my bag. If you want to check out anything, the links are down below. All of them are at no cost to you. Also, the gear I used during this whole shoot thing video yeah or also down below none of it is gonna be at an extra cost to you. help out this filmmaking channel to grow and hopefully you guys enjoy this video and the question of the day is what's inside your camera bag at the beginning of 2019 and if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe help grow this community out i'd love to talk more about filmmaking with you guys learn more from you guys and also learn from me we'll just We'll just be in a learning fest together. Yeah. Also, don't forget to caress that bell because notifications, it helps out just whenever I upload. I'm trying the new premiere thing, but we'll see how that goes. And of course, dream on.